Hello and welcome to the Clap Possible YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing about the economic community of the West African states and what they have to say about the Niger coup. Now in case you're wondering what is the Niger coup and why did it happen, you can see our video on Clap Possible YouTube channel that was posted on the 2nd of August pertaining to the same matter. Now, in case you haven't seen that, first I suggest go and watch that video and then we will talk about this. So, Ecowars is something that you can see on your screens right now, right over here in the middle, this is Niger. And then there are certain countries that are part of this Ecowars. So, let's try to understand what this is all about. Now, firstly, let's understand what is Ecowars. So, this is, like I told you, economic community of the West African states. And it is also known as C-E-D-E-A-O in French and Portuguese language, right? And this regional organization or a group was made in 1975 through a treaty called the Lagos Treaty. Now, what did they come together for and what is their mandate? Primarily, their mandate is, primarily their mandate is to promote economic integration amongst its own members. So the next question that comes into play is how many members are there? So it has 15 members. So Benin and Cape Verde, Ivory Coast, Gambia, Ghana, Guinea, Liberia, Mali, Niger. There are many, many countries over here. But however, due to certain military coup in other countries, this particular organization, which is completely against this military coup, um, they basically suspended their membership. So the next question that can be asked is how many of these countries have been recently um, removed from this block or suspended from this block? So following the coup in recent years in some of the biggest countries in the block, namely, this is Mali, Guinea and Burkina Faso. It has suspended these three members and it has refused to recognize their new governments. In fact, in the African Union Summit, which was held very, very recently in Addis Ababa, right, we will make another separate video on the African Union Summit because African Union is also very important since our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has suggested that the African Union should be made a part of the G20. So that will be done in a separate video. Now, even in this particular summit, the ECOWAS leaders have rejected a joint request by these three countries to lift the sanctions imposed on them as well as their ECOWAS and the AU membership suspension following the military takeover of their governments. And so from this particular line, we can understand that this grouping not only talks about economic integration, but they do believe that a certain type of polity should be there in your country. And if your military is taking over the government, they basically don't recognize that government. So this has happened during the years of 2020 to 2022. Finally, so what is the aim of ECOWAS? I've already told you that they are a large trading block. They are looking into economic integration. Apart from that, they are saying that they want a single common currency, right? And they want to create a single block of trading in areas such as industry, transport, telecommunication, energy, financial issues, social as well as cultural matters. They want to create something like a borderless region. So I know what is coming to your mind, European Union, the Schengen zone and all of that. So that is also something that you can side by side keep preparing for because, well, that was also in news because of a country called Croatia. But we will come back to this. So they aim to create a borderless region that is well integrated. And eco was they want, they are meant to be governed by a region in accordance with the principle of democracy, rule of law and good governance and that is exactly why they are against the niger coup right they want certain like i told you not only economy but also 
common principles of polity or the way the government over there in those countries is being run and how should that government be run it should run on the principles of democracy on the principles of rule of law as well as good governance the chairman right now so the chairman changes after every one year and the head of the governments of these particular member countries themselves they elect such a leader this is bola tinubu of nigeria is the chairman right now of ecowas all right so have they done something similar in the past whenever there has been a military coup so in fact that has happened not in niger though right so it has attempted to quell the military conflicts in the region many times in the past right so this was also in the 1990s early 2000s right and forces were also deployed in 1990 during the deadly civil war and in sierra leone in 1997 when a democratically elected government was overthrown so this is not happening for the first time it has happened before but it has never happened in niger which is happening right now so we will keep reading about it in case you know whatever happens so even in 2017 it intervened in the gambia region or in the country after long time president yaya jami refused to step down even because you know even after losing the elections so he refused to step down but because of their intervention the winner who was adama baro you know he came to par so that is the authority that they exercise over their region <coughs> So incidentally the ongoing Niger coup's leader General Chiani has previously served as a battalion commander for ECOWAS peacekeepers in the Ivory Coast. So let's keep reading our news and let's see what is the impact of ECOWAS in the Niger coup. But that is all from my end. Thank you very much for joining us for this particular video and I will see you soon with another topic video. Thank you.